Okay, so this is a test video that I've always been curious about. When it comes to skate bearings and the lubricants that you put in them, does it really make a difference? The cheap bearings, the ones that don't come with any grease or lubricants of any kind, just some generic 608 bearings. So I wanted to test that. So these are the bearings. And what I'm going to do is just spin it to show you how it spins out the box. It feels a bit rough, not really free spinning at all. I'm going to try this super loop first. Okay. So I'm just going to put some loop in and around the bearing. And as I spin, we're also listening to the sound because I know some of these it gets like a slack sound. So this is how that one spins. I've got Triflow Superior Lubricant. It says that it's formulated with PTFE. All right, so this one loosens up even faster. And it feels freer than the one from Super Lube. I can feel that much. I've got WD-40 Gel Lube. This is a no-drip formula, and I know that they say that you're not supposed to use WD-40 on bearings because it's just a water replacement, but let's just see because we're doing a test. Loosens up quicker and has a bit of a louder spin. WD-40 is good for rust prevention and so forth, but when it comes to bearings, I wouldn't use that as a lure. Next, we have the famous Bone Speed Cream. It's formulated as a racing formula. Now I could tell with the Boone Speed Cream, it is more quiet than the Super Lube on the WD-40. And it does spin pretty good, you know. When it comes to bearings, you just have to wear them in first. Free spin doesn't matter as much as how they actually perform when you put load on them. Keep that in mind when it comes to bearings. Next, we have this hops, hops, hopes, hoppies, however you want to pronounce it. Nine lubricating gun oil. It's thin like sewing machine oil. This one feels like it'll give you a good spin, but where the oil is so thin, I don't really think this is something that you want to use overall or if you do use it you'll have to keep reusing it because where the oil is so thin it'll run out next i have pro shot product zero friction this lubricates penetrates and prevents rust sounds something like wd-40 to me what do you know it loosens up just as fast as wd-40 and the spin is as loud as WD-40. It's interesting that I was able to call that before I even used it. And I've got one more to use. This is Super Lube Multi-Purpose Synthetic Grease. And with this one, it's formulated with this S word I'm not going to even try to pronounce. And it has the PTFE as well. Now the thing about grease is, it's thicker, durable, and longer lasting than all those other loops that I've mentioned earlier. So it wouldn't spin as free, but just like with any other lubricant, with the grease, you skate it more and more, it'll wear and it'll become thinner. And let me wrap this up. So with this super lube, this is a good skate lube that you can use. I don't really have no problem with it, but it isn't as free spinning as the Bone Speed Cream, which has been formulated specifically for skate bearing, so they would have a formula that works, but unlike grease, doesn't last as long, because cream, gel, lube, any of the things in that category will wear out faster than a grease. This zero friction, it does loosen up your bearings quick, just like the WD-40, but it is too watery of anything. I, I see these as things that I wouldn't personally use for skate bearings. I don't think they'll be long lasting. This is also a good bearing formula. Between this and the Super Lube, 
I'll say that these are good that you can use for your escape variants. They'll perform well. I've heard that some people use white lithium grease, and I think it'll be the same thing basically. So, but overall, this was an interesting test. And if you have any of these, or if you're looking to get any of these, well then now you know because I've tested them for you. I'm gonna wrap it up right here and continue to skate. Skate on. <laughs>